it's high school boogie. Thought I had it all figured out back then. I was born and raised in Compton by single moms. Pops was never in the picture. Come from where I do, there weren't many ways to make it out the hood. You could either rap or you could play ball. I chose the latter. Coming out of high school, I was a speedy 614 star wide receiver prospect from Compton City High. After my senior season of high school, I had a bunch of D1 scholarship offers. By the time signing day came around, I managed to get my list of teams down to eight. I ultimately ended up signing with my hometown and dream college in USC. I signed there with my high school quarterback and childhood friend Jalen Short. While at USC, I had my ups and downs. My freshman year, my mom's passed away from breast cancer. I stopped going to classes and started partying. Due to my lack of grades, I was put on probation. I ended up being redshirted in my freshman season due to ineligibility. That season, Jalen went on to lead USC to the college football playoffs. During my redshirt freshman and sophomore seasons, my playing time was sporadic. I constantly butted head with the coaches. But when I was on the field, I performed. We managed to win two national championships. Jalen won the Heisman his junior year and was a projected top five pick, so he declared for the draft. Between Jalen leaving and me not being on good terms with the coaches, I saw no reason to stay at USC. So as a redshirt sophomore, I decided to declare too. Now it's time to get into draft mode. Coming into the combine, I was a projected day three pick due to my lack of production and off the field issues. But I'm a baller and that's what I intend to show them. I did well during the combine, posting the second fastest 40 yard time, only behind Henry Ruggs. I also showed that I had soft hands and could run the whole route tree. Unfortunately, during the interviews, the scouts seemed to show concern in my character and coachability. But I'll prove them wrong. If they draft me, they'll be getting one of the best wide receivers in this draft. Maybe even the best. It's the day of the first round of the draft. Jalen's mom is throwing a huge party. The whole block's supposed to be there. So she sent us out to grab some things beforehand. As we left, Jalen was excited. He was excited to show me and drive his new whip. You see, he just signed a huge deal with Under Armour that fronted him a shit ton of cash. While driving, he told me about this apartment he was getting for his moms on the north side after he got drafted. I didn't show it, but I sure was jealous. We got the things his mom asked for and began heading back to the house to get ready. On the way back, we passed by our old high school. Jalen and I began to discuss some moments from high school. He brings up how I got curved by Michelle Wilson freshman year when I asked her to link. See, it was actually his fault because he gassed me up to do it, even though she was a senior cheerleader. We laughed it off together. I then bring up the 10th grade field day in which I dusted him in the 100 meter race. I laughed, but he takes offense. Jalen was super competitive and hated to lose. So every time I beat him in something, I make sure to rub it in. He responded by saying we could take this to the track right now. So we're at the track. I'm talking my shit and he's talking his shit. I try to explain to him like, bro, I just ran a 4-3-40. There's no way of beating me. He then says he could have did the same if he ran at the combine. I call that bullshit. So we go ahead and line up to race. I tell him he can call it. When you mark, get set, go. The race begins and I get a good head start and never let up. I eventually leave Jalen in the dust. After crossing the finish line, I look back and laugh. I then ask, how was he going to be able to get away from NFL DNs with that speed? Yeah, that got to him. That's when Jalen gets ready to respond, but I hear my name called in the distance. It was Elroy. I tell Jalen to wait for me in the car. So I'll go up and talk to Elroy. Elroy is the big homie in our hood. He looked out for me when I was younger. Let me make some little plays to make some money. Even let me hold some cash when my mom's passed away. He brings up us being drafted tonight. Then goes on this rant about how he could have made it to the league if he didn't tear his ACL in high school. I've heard this story a million times before. He then tells me to never forget the hood. Don't let them white suits change me. I tell him bet. I then tell him that Jalen was waiting for me and that I had to dip. He said before you go on some real shit, if that football shit doesn't work out, just know that you can come back and work with me. I tell him yeah. He then says maybe even if it does work out, we can flip that little NFL check. I tell him bet, dap him up, then head back to Jalen's car. I get in the car and we head back to the house. Jalen asked me what Elroy wanted. 
I told him that he just wanted to congratulate us. Jalen said that was some bullshit. He was right. I tell him that's really what he said, and that's all he said. Jalen did say whatever. Don't tell me, but stay away from that guy. You're about to be an NFL player. You don't need guys like that around. Despite all the hugs and good lucks, Jalen and I managed to get in front of the TV as the draft began. It was time to get to business. The Bengals were on the clock and were expected to pick a QB. With that first pick, the Bengals went ahead and selected Joe Burrow out of LSU. Jalen thought he was truly better than him. He thought he had a stronger arm and better pocket presence. You could tell that pick really bothered him. Miami was at five and was projected to pick a quarterback. With that fifth pick, Miami went ahead and picked two out of Bama. Guess his injury concerns didn't cause him to slip. Then as the sixth pick of the draft approached, Jalen got a call. It was from Anthony Lynn, head coach of the LA Chargers. They told him that they were selecting him with the sixth overall pick. The house then erupted. Everyone was ecstatic, including me. I was happy for Jalen, but I was next. I had to be next. I had to get that same call. It was day three of the draft. The Giants were on the clock with the last pick. My phone hasn't rang. I look towards Jalen, and he looks bummed. I tell him, don't stress, bro. I'll figure something out. You just got to go out there and enjoy football for the both of us. After the draft ends, I head to bed. It's crazy. This is going to be my first night of sleep without football. This shit is crazy. Hello? It was Anthony Lynn calling, head coach of the Chargers. I was in disbelief. He had invited me to Chargers rookie camp. I can't believe it. I'm in the NFL. Even if it's just for training camp. 